Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a review of the Alter Ego, sorry I almost dropped it then and it completely threw me off, but today we're going to be doing a review of the Alter Ego Aurora eyeshadow palette. So Alter Ego very kindly sent this palette to me so that I could review it. I have reviewed two other of their eyeshadow palettes and I have been extremely impressed with the overall quality of the eyeshadows. I think that they create extremely high-end feeling, I, I don't know why I say high-end feeling eyeshadows because I love AliExpress eyeshadows and they cost two pounds. So they just create really, really good eyeshadows in my experience after having tried two of their other palettes. So I am expecting a lot today with this one. Oh. Guys, I'm so sorry for that interruption. That's my alarm. I have no idea why my alarm suddenly decided to go off. I think it's really, really important to set your alarm as a song that just lifts you up and makes you want to dance. Because as soon as that goes off in the morning, I'm ready. I'm in the groove. I'm like, yes, bitch, yes. I'm honey, let's do it. So I believe that this eyeshadow palette is meant to be a little bit of a dupe for a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. And I have noticed that this is a theme with Alter Ego. They seem to really enjoy duping Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes, which is fine for me because at the end of the day, they're not claiming to be a Natasha Denona palette, like that it's not a fake. I just I think that they are taking so much inspiration from Natasha Denona palettes. Um, but at the end of the day, Natasha Denona palettes, they cost so much money. And honestly, like from the reviews that I've seen, they're not worth £60. This one's £60, but I think that some of them are a lot more than £60. And I, I, I ain't got that type of disposable income. I think, oh my gosh, I'm so salty. So salty. She wishes she could spend that money. No, not really. Even if I had the money, no. I, I've not even shown you the fecking palette yet. Okay, so like, let's backtrack. Sorry, I was thrown by my alarm going off. This is the beautiful Aurora palette. I do apologise that it does look... A little bit messed with it at this point because I did do the swatches last night which I'm going to show you shortly but I did do the swatches so that's why you know you can definitely see that a makeup junkie has had her fingers all up in here. I would definitely say that out of the two including this one which is three so three I mean really like hey come to my channel I'll tell you about makeup and I will teach you maths I mean really she's a maths genius up in here out of the three eyeshadow palettes that, I've, that well I've not tried this one but anyway out of the three this one is the one that definitely makes my vagina tingle the most just because I absolutely love these shades which is odd for me because I definitely do consider myself to be more of a cool toned kind of lady. I really love the look of this palette. So this palette features mattes, metallics and duochromes which, oh my gosh, if that's not a perfect threesome, I just don't know what is. So let me just show you quickly the Natasha Denona palette that I feel like this palette is duping. So it's called the Sunrise Eyeshadow Palette. This is a image and if I don't know if this is going to work but maybe if I just hold them up like side by side, like alter ego They've kind of switched the shades up a little bit, you know, to try and avoid anyone coming on to the fact that I think they've just copied the Natasha Denona palette, but they do look suspiciously similar, don't they, guys? I mean, really. <coughs> I've got a little bit of a cold today. I do apologise, guys. <coughs> so, this palette costs $16, and unfortunately, Alter Ego, they, well, not not fortunately they're an American brand, but they are an American based brand. So if you are in the UK or living outside of America, you will pay additional charges for shipping and potentially you could be hit with a customs charge. So I do fully appreciate that if you're living outside America, it kind of, it can get quite expensive buying American makeup just not for the makeup, but for the fucking shipping and customs charge. So I do really, really appreciate that. And I have seen many comments in my previous reviews of Alter Ego Makeup, you know, that are kind of making that point really. So I just wanted to make a 
that point too. I thought, yeah, I'll just make that point too. Like, why not? I think it's a good point to make. The palette does cost $16, which I actually think is pretty good. Well, I've not tried it yet, but you will see at the end of the video. But I think that's pretty good. But I do appreciate that, you know, nobody wants to be paying like more on shipping and customs than they've actually spent on the product. So I fully appreciate, you know, I fully get that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show you the swatches that I performed last night. As always, I do apologize. It is incredibly challenging to do swatches on a solo mission it's really really tough so they're not the best swatches and I do really apologize but I just hope that you can get an idea of the shades of the consistency and all that jazz so I will show you that footage now there so I was literally sat here editing the footage for this video and there was a knock at the door and it's the postman I'm like yay 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 so I hop skipped and jumped down the stairs and he delivered this box which I don't know if you can see but it says alter ego on the side so then I was thinking oh alter ego how strange I've, I've literally just happened to be editing my alter ego Aurora palette video. So then I, I opened up the box. It's another Aurora palette. So I was kind of thinking, oh my gosh, this is like absolutely bizarre. Because I only decided to edit this video on the off chance because I had some spare time. So I just thought, you know what? The planets have aligned. This is fate. I am going to do a giveaway. It only seems fair. It just seems like it was meant to be. So yeah, I'm going to do a giveaway. I literally have, have not given any thought whatsoever to this giveaway other than I'm just going to say, if you just leave a comment downstairs telling me, I'm going to say leave your favourite horror film because I'm always on the lookout for good horror film recommendations. So leave me your favourite horror film recommendation down below. Just by commenting, you will be entered um, you don't have to follow me on Instagram. You don't have to follow me on LinkedIn. Like, don't don't worry about any of that shit. You don't have to do it. Just comment down below. I'll pick out a winner at random. And then I'll send this over to you. So, yeah, that worked out well, didn't it? Very nice. Anyway, so there we go, guys. Okay, so now that we have seen the swatches, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to begin my look. I'm going to just go in first with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And I'm just going to pop that over my lids just to create a really kind of even, solid base. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that I've done that, we are ready to begin the look. To begin, I'm going to go in with this beautiful uh, kind of a light creamy yellow. It's not yellow. Okay, it's a kind of peachy, peachy yellow, quite light, neutral. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst at trying to describe shades. We're going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm just going to buff that in and around my crease. Okay, so I feel like this eyeshadow is performing nicely. I think it's not, it is pigmented, but I did have to kind of, you know, build it up a little bit before we could really see her in all her glory. Um, and I do feel like she's a little bit like 
laid back, a bit neutral, which I like a laid back lady, but for this look, I want something that's gonna be a little bit brighter and just make my lids pop right off to space. So I'm going to just bite the bullet. I'm going in with the shade Sunburst, which is a beautiful, bright orange. I just think she's gorgeous. Actually, she's not an orange. She's like an orange yellow. Or would you say yellow? Let's pop her on. I like her guys. Oh yes I do. Oh yes I do. She is extremely vibrant and she's just showing up. She's not holding back. She's coming and she's partying. She's saying yes, yes I'm here. I bought my beer. I've, I'm ready to party. I am ready to rock and roll she said. Okay so I really I really love that. Okay, so I'm just gonna build her up a little bit more because I just want to have this really kind of bold, bright, summery, sunshiny, yellowy orange crease. So, okay, so I do not know quite how this is gonna work out, but I'm gonna go in with this massive feck off brush. I want this look to be super bold. So I'm just going for it guys, I'm just going for it. I'm just kind of tapping it on to begin with so that I get it exactly where I want it. And then I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna use a different brush to blend because yes, that lady, she is too big to blend. So I'm just gonna blend with this one. Can you see how beautifully these shadows are blending out? I'm just going to keep adding more, but I'm not going to use the big brush because I kind of realise that big isn't always better. Do you know what I mean? I mean, usually it is, but not always. Okay, so next we're going to add a little bit of pink to this look um, because I want to really kind of warm it up so I'm going to go in with this beautiful it's kind of like a, a cranberry but it also looks quite pink so I'm going to go in with this shade and I'm just going to keep that focused kind of lower into my crease and on the outer vagina I'm just tapping it to begin with so that I can get her exactly where I want her and then I'm just going to start to blend. Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I just, I've never felt so much like I've got a sunset on my eyes. Like this is, oh my gosh, it kind of reminds me of, you know that cocktail like Sex on the Beach? It kind of looks like Sex on the Beach cocktail. I'm all for my eye looking like a, I might just call this look sex on the beach do you know what like me and honeys have got this new parenting approach where if the boys want a snack they can have like a piece of fruit and that's it and we were saying no we're not going to give crisps anymore we, we didn't really give chocolate but like, we just said, right, if the boys want a snack, they can have fruit. And I've just heard Honey's downstairs saying, hey, who wants some popcorn? Honey's, Honey's, did we not make a, a pact? Did we not agree to this? Okay, so I'm just going to kind of build up this shade a little bit more. Oh my gosh, like the struggle is real when you're getting older and your eyelids really start to move when you're trying to blend I mean I wish I'd appreciated it more when I was younger to have like taut eyelids that just would be immovable but guys honestly if you're youthful please take a moment to appreciate your eyelids because the day will come when you'll be trying to blend like a superstar and your eyelids will just be like working against you, just like moving all over the place. Like, honestly, that day will come. 
that so just appreciate what you've got okay so next I'm going to go in with this kind of rustic plummy kind of shade I suppose or kind of like an aubergine I'm going to go in with this and again I'm going to like focus this on the outer vagina I'm also going to take it underneath the eye and I'm just going to kind of blend it in with this cranberry shade I'm going to go back in with a little bit of the cranberry shade and I'm just going to kind of use that to blend into the under eye. And next I'm going to go in with the beautiful yellow. I've decided now it's yellow and I'm just going to use that again as well again I don't know which but I'm going to use that to blend just under the eye oh my gosh these shadows blend so beautifully um okay so this is the look so far so next we're going to go in with a shimmer and today I'm going to go in first with dawn although I'm not quite sure if this will be topper let me just have a look yeah okay so dawn is definitely quite sheer and i would say she fits into the category of being a topper i don't want a topper right now i do not want a topper so i think we are going to oh my gosh i'm just spoiled for choice but i think i'm going to go in with this beautiful shade here it's called cosmic and it's a metallic cranberry i'm just going to use my finger she feels so soft and smooth I'm just using my finger like wherever possible I will use my finger just because I just think well why not oh shit oh shit sorry guys like I don't know I'm apologizing to you but I should be apologizing to my pants really because I now have a load of a metallic cranberry shimmer on them but anyway guys so she definitely isn't your traditional kind of um metallic she's quite like chunky but not in a bad way like in a good way i think the shimmer looks absolutely beautiful but i am going to just kind of slightly wet my finger yes i licked it and now my tongue it tastes of eyeshadow but it's fine um and i'm just gonna kind of go back in again so yeah she's not i won't say chunky but she's kind of like foil i would probably say okay so here we go i think she looks so gorgeous and i really think she complements the mattes so next i just want to try out the shade dawn which is the topper shade i'm just really keen to try it so i'm going to use it to do my inner corner and i might just try a little bit of her just like over this area of my lid so let me get a little brush so i can apply her do you know what i can never find a little brush when i want one but when i don't want one i feel like all i can find are little brushes it's just like why is this hmm. oh my gosh okay so just to tell you this can you see how much she's flaked up so she's kind of pressed down but i do feel like she's quite crumbly which is good because in my experience it usually means that the shadow will kind of melt onto your lid and kind of behave like a cream to give you optimum sheen and metallicness and shine i'm gonna to have to be careful here because i just didn't want you know too much of this to go on and be avalanching down my face don't like it i feel like i picked that up and it's not the shade it's just i just don't think it looks quite right there you know what i mean so i'm hoping that i can just kind of wipe it off with my finger and that seemed to work so i'm just gonna go with it you know that's fine so next i'm just gonna pop a little bit over here okay so i really really like that it's giving it a bit of a multi-dimensional look and in the inner corner i think i'm going to just go in with 
this beautiful, beautiful champagne. It's called Brilliance and it just looks so gorgeous. So I'm just going to like pop a little bit of that there. And I'm also using that same shade to go under my brow. Beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Bet I could actually use this shade as a highlight, you know. Oh shit, yes I can. But she's very bold. Look at that. I might use her as a highlight later. Like I really might. Um, okay, so guys, anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the other side and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on the palette. <music> Okay, so I am back. I have finished off the other eye and the entire eye look. So this is it. Overall, I really had so much fun creating this look with this palette. I have no complaints. Like, I literally have no complaints about this. I enjoyed the mattes. I thought they blended out beautifully, were very easy to work with whilst still being pigmented. Some of them I did have to kind of pack on a little bit, you know, kind of before I blended and um, to, you know, really kind of reveal their true colour. But um, nothing out of the ordinary really. And if anything, I feel like the the mattes um, being as brightly coloured as they are, I think they were extremely well pigmented. So I really, really like the mattes. I really like the kind of metallics, although I just feel like you've got to be prepared that some of them are going to be a little bit chunky and flaky almost, which it's a difficult thing when you're applying them, but... I think it's worth it because they really do kind of have that kind of smooth metallic kind of sheeny look um, because they just kind of melt into your skin like a cream powder would. So I really, 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 really like this palette. I think the shades are beautiful. I think especially if you're a fan of warm tones, you couldn't go wrong with this palette. I can tell that I really, really like this palette because I'm already thinking of the looks that I'm going to create with it. Next time, I'm going to create a kind of yellowy, orangey crease and I'm going to pop one of the golds on the lid and I just think that would look so beautiful like summer on an eye. So I really, really like this eyeshadow palette. I would really, really recommend. Thank you so much to Alter Ego for very kindly sending it to me. I've had so much fun trying it out today and I am just so excited to dibble dabble in this again and create more looks. I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching the video today. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!